uh, under my favorite tree. I think this is one of the most beautiful trees I've ever seen. It's very old, at least the trunk and limbs are very old, but the leaves are new. And they are new every spring. Seeds are new. So it's a, it's a combination of those two things, and that's the way I think about time. Uh, there are a lot of ways to f feel about time and our lives and how they fit into it. Uh, but to me, time has always been like a wheel. Uh, and that is really the, what I was trying to say in Tuck Everlasting, that we need to accept the pattern that we've been given and see the good things about it and not worry about the changes that come to us because of it. Uh, in the scene in, in Tuck Everlasting when Paw Tuck is trying to explain to Winnie out on the pond why she mustn't tell about the spring, this is what he says. Dying's part of the wheel right there next to being born. You can't pick out the pieces you like and leave the rest. Being part of the whole thing, that's the blessing. But it's passing us by, us Tucks. Living's heavy work. But off to one side, the way we are, it's useless, too. It don't make sense. If I knowed how to climb back on the wheel, I'd do it in a minute. You can't have living without dying. So you can't call it living what we got. We just, all, we just be like rocks beside the road. I want to grow again and change. And if that means I got to move on at the end of it, then I want that, too. Listen, Winnie, it's something you don't find out how you feel until afterwards. If people knowed about the spring down there in Tree Gap, they'd all come running like pigs to slops. They'd trample each other trying to get some of that water. That'd be bad enough. But afterwards, can you imagine? All the little ones, little forever, all the old ones, old forever. Can you picture what that means, forever? The wheel would keep on going round, the water rolling by to the ocean. But the people would have turned into nothing but rocks beside the road.